That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We knew we wanted to put Neil Armstrong's spacesuit back on display. Coming up to the 50th anniversary, it really is the cornerstone of Apollo. It's the first suit to walk on the moon. There's no other suit like it. The overall goal of our Kickstarter was to actually have the suit back the way it would have been on the lunar surface. We're constantly working with this trade-off between preservation and display. It's really a story of materials, um, not only the materials that they selected to use for the spacesuits to preserve human life, but also the story of how we're learning to preserve those materials. So we will have the suit for generations to come. For years, we knew that keeping the helmet and gloves off the suit was the best we could do for the environment because as it continues to degrade and off-gas these materials, we didn't want to lock the suit into not having any air circulation. But we've designed a new mannequin system and the display case ventilation system to overcome that. So our new display will actually have it looking like it was on the lunar surface for the first time in decades. The 3D modeling is really essential in the sense that it makes the suit accessible. We'll be able to bring that information out to schools, to different people on the interweb. There's nothing like seeing the suit in person, for sure, but it will give people some sense of what the suit looks like and how it is on display. This is sort of a culmination of my 20 years of working on spacesuits. All the stuff we're creating and researching sort of marks a new turning point with our museum to ensure that these collections can remain on display for many more anniversaries through Apollo and beyond.